praying for good weather today. Many, many minutes later. Ah, the beautiful rain. Okay, so hello everyone. Today, I'll be heading over to Penang to meet a friend of mine. So we haven't met for a very long time and since I have the opportunity to meet her, why not? She is coming over to stay at a hotel with her family for a few days. So nothing too big, nothing too um, bad as we could see. And just for you to know, I am going to be testing out these new DJI wireless microphones. Okay, so just know that these mics are not sent by DJI. I actually got them on loan from a friend of mine from N4 Camera Store in Queen's Bay. Was it Queen's Bay? Yeah, I think it was Queen's Bay. So I met this very nice chap. He actually allowed me to have this for one week for review. So you will be, you know, hanging around with me today with um, just, you know, to see what we can do with the microphone and how it sounds. I will be doing a little bit of post editing for the video. However, for any raw audio comparison, I will put it on later as well. So let's head out to Penang now, shall we? Okay, so as I am driving to Penang Island, I'm just gonna tell you briefly about the microphone. Yes, I am very sorry for Google Maps telling me where to go. I haven't been to Penang in a very long time and I haven't really memorized the roads. So do forgive me for any interruptions from Google Maps. Okay, where was I? So. Okay, so for the DJI wireless microphone system, it comes in a charging case and in that charging case, you will have the cold shoe mount adapter for the receiver and then at the same time, there are also these detachable clip-ons that can make your receiver plug into an Android Type-C phone or an iOS phone with its lightning adapter. So the cold shoe mount can be taken out and then it can be swapped with those two attachments. Then it also comes with two transmitters, which one of it is what I'm wearing right now. And these are the microphone units. So there are two microphone units and one receiver. So there are a total of three main units and then the three clips or add-ons that are within the case. The case itself is a charging case and can charge all three of the devices, the two transmitters and one receiver, two times full charge. So you are expecting a very, very good amount of time, roughly 15 hours of battery life for all of your microphone units and the receiver. So it's actually very good battery life. And it's actually surprising that they can have like, what, five, hours, five and a half hours of battery life for the microphone units and the receiver, which is amazing for how small it is. And coming to battery life, I think that is a very big 
benefit for having a wireless system as well i mean yeah you have to worry a little bit about when the battery dies but if you are very careful enough you should be able to worry less about having cables connected to your computer or your camera and then trying to record whatever you need to at a very specific part and well you can't go really that far but with a wireless system what you actually do is enable yourself to have freedom of movement and at the same time you're not tethered to a cable so basically you really don't have to worry about being stuck with your camera or your recording device while you are recording audio for any project whatsoever now i really like the build quality of the microphone and also the receiver and also the charging case itself it feels very sturdy very tank like and this is the good thing though because they actually provide you with the charging case uh, compared to something like the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone systems. Yes, it is wireless. It is a good microphone. Uh, please don't take it in a bad way. It is a good microphone system. But the bad thing is... Wait, hold on. Let me pay. Okay, so where was I? So as we look at the Rode Wireless Go 2, they do not come with a charging case. You would have to charge each particular device, which would be your microphone unit and also the receivers separately using different cables. There is a third party or aftermarket type of charging case from a brand which I'm not really sure of yet. I don't really remember, but it's okay. It's a good product from what I heard from people using it, but then, I mean, for whatever that you're paying, especially from road, I think it would have been nice if they provided a charging case because one, it's ease of use, two, it's easy to store. So the good thing that I thought would be nice for road to actually include uh, in their future iteration of the wireless go would be a charging case not just for competitive reasons with other competitors but it's also the ease of life use because you can actually well keep your devices your receiver and also the microphone units in a case where compared to now with the wireless go 2 you need to find a pouch or a separate place to safely store them which to be honest is not really a big deal for many of the creators or users out there but uh, if you really want to make it a bit easier for the consumers i would suggest having a charging case in your future iterations of your wireless go so road if you're listening to me keep that in mind Okay, so in terms of audio quality, since this part will be somewhat unedited audio, you can clearly see and listen how it performs in a real-world situation before any editing is done to the audio. So you can get a clear picture of how it sounds, if there's any clipping. And take note, by the way, I have set these transmitters, these microphones, both of them, to be at minus three decibel sensitivity so i do not really want it to clip even if i try to do it on purpose i want to see what it can do based on a typical safe route setting where i'll just put it at minus three decibels and then see how it goes from there so mic test one two three mic test one two three how am i right now in the audio so mic test one two three mic test one two three how am i right now in the audio it's actually quite interesting though today because um in penang it, it it's not to say it rarely rains it's just that the rain is sometimes very uncertain so it can be cloudy one time and then it rains the next hour i mean today i was supposed to go on a photo shoot with my friend with a, like in a few places it's just that now since it's raining we have to reconsider a lot 
of our options where to take photos and even if we will be taking photos today. However, I felt that this would be a nice day to at least try to do something since staying at home all day doesn't really give you much benefit. So why not go out and walk, enjoy a little. Yes, it's COVID season. We will be well maintaining our SOP. We will do whatever possible and only take off our mask when we feel that it is safe and necessary to do so. Other than that, if it's unnecessary, we won't be taking off our mask because we do not want to risk well being infected with COVID. It's already like what the yes, like what the last time I checked was thirty one thousand cases in Malaysia. It's very, it's a very bad time right now. So I don't want to really take that big of a risk. Uh, maintaining SOP is one part of it but then at the same time being responsible so that other people are safe as well that's another part so that's what we're going to be doing today so we are now in uh, Penang Island so we are already on our way to Georgetown and this is where the pain starts because it's always very hectic in terms of traffic and I mean other than traffic jams you also have some very crazy drivers uh, so uh, it would be very fun to see how I navigate through Penang Island uh, as of the current time especially since it's um, just after lunch hour, people might be going back to work. It's 2, 2.30, roughly around 2.30. So yeah, let's see how it goes for today. Okay, something that I forgot to mention is that other than the charging case, the receiver, the transmitters and whatnot, you also get these furry windshields, like these uh, dead cats for two of your microphones. And uh, it also comes with a carrying pouch. It's a very nice carrying pouch and a type C charging cable. Thank God it's type C and not something like micro USB. Thank God they actually put in type C, which makes it just fantastic because most of the devices nowadays use type C. It's not to say that micro USB is obsolete. It's just that, well, according to the trend, it's much better now. Well, that's what I said about having crazy drivers who don't know how to follow their lanes. It's okay. We follow our lane, we stay safe, everything's fine. Your destination is on the right. Are we actually here? So by the way, I have the microphone clipped onto my shirt using a magnet that is provided in the box and at the same time, this is me recording myself right now with the receiver hooked up to the microphone jack that is on my Canon M50 Mark II. Uh, this is not my studio space but I am doing what I can to, you know, settle things around. So. Um, yeah, catch you later in the final part of this video. Okay, so it has been a few days since I came back from my trip to Penang with my friend. And the part of that video, the trip part, will be coming in part two. So my overall thoughts for the past few days, testing it out and using this mic for various occasions, I felt that for the money that you are actually spending, it actually is quite nice. Uh, and it provides a lot of the features that as creators or users for microphone systems, we would be very happy to have these type of features and we are very excited to see what would they actually put into the system in the near future when their second iteration comes out. For now, this is a new product. It has been out for a few months. Yes, this is a demo unit. However, I am pretty sure that 
once the latest firmware has been installed and once the tweaks have been done to the quality control and whatnot, I'm pretty sure that this is a very possible product that can be used for many, many people. I wasn't able to test the total range. I heard that it was 150 meters, 250 meters. I forgot about the specs, but uh, I'll leave it here somewhere so that you can know how far the range is. To be honest, I forgot to test it on my way outside anyway. However, uh, I can say that uh, with the amount of time I have left with this mic and with the amount of errands that I have to settle here at home, I feel that uh, it would be nice if you can actually head over to other YouTubers who have reviewed this mic before. Yeah, so you can actually visit a few other YouTubers as well in terms of testing the mic. My overall conclusion for this mic is, well, should you buy this microphone? To me, I would say if you're looking for a wireless microphone system that is able to do very well in most of the situations and at the same time, you feel that you are starting out and you want something that's good, a name brand product, then by all means, go ahead. You can purchase this product because I have confidence that it will perform very, very well. In terms of if you are just starting out but you do not have the funds by the way i'm going to put the pricing over here for the dji wireless microphone system so you can actually reconsider this and the pricing here will be in malaysian ringgit and at the bottom would be in us dollars converted from malaysia ringgit it is not necessary for you to worry that if you do not get this product then you don't really have a wireless microphone system anymore that's not the case you have other brands and other systems available to you at other price points and at the same time some are more expensive, some are cheaper that might suit your use case and your needs. So it really depends on what you're looking for. I would say that if you have other considerations, you may have a look at those items and really decide on what is best for you. Some might be cheaper, some might be more expensive. Do not skim out and buy things that are too cheap because what you pay for is what you get. However, do not pay too highly of a price because there will be a point where you will get diminishing returns instead of better quality. So really depending on your use case and depending on your needs, plan out your budget to find something that is suitable and like I said, with the pricing that I've provided to you, you can decide if this is a microphone that's suitable for you or if you feel that other brands and other systems are better for you. If you really want to support this channel, I would highly recommend that you visit my Patreon page, link in the description down below, so that you can support me in two ways. Number one, I have a humanitarian aid bank or fund being raised so that within a certain threshold, once I have reached a certain target, I will be putting that money out for donation or to charity or to any humanitarian aid relief that is in need of funds to help people in need. Now, I will not take a single cent out of that particular tier and the channel itself will only be living out of the other three tiers which will actually help me and also help the channel itself grow and at the same time it allows me and the channel to actually provide more free content for all of you and if you really want to check out uh, this product i will link the dji official website down in the description as well Thank you so much to N4 Camera Store for allowing me to have this microphone for one week so I can test it out and review it for all of you to see. If you want to buy any camera products, do check out their website on Shopee and the link is also provided down in the description below. So once again, thank you so much 
for watching this video and stay tuned for part two because you'll be looking at the continuation of my trip to Penang and also a few other tips and tricks for photography where you can actually learn something new or maybe refine something and get inspired to maybe create during hard times like this. It is COVID season, so stay safe whenever you are going out and only go out when you feel it's necessary. And as I always said in this channel, enjoy creating your content.